Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's Monday morning and we are still here. We're up, we're thankful. Hope you are thankful wherever you are this morning. I, I'm i just doing a quick message to you guys and to remind you to make sure that you're moving, okay? Make sure that you're not just sitting around and giving up. Make sure that you're hopeful and knowing that God is always providing and whatever your situation is today, that you'll put it in his hands and let him have his own sweet way. So it's beautiful outside. It is so beautiful. I got up this morning. I took Onyx out because guess what, people? If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe and become a part of the MVP family. This is the best channel where people care about one another and we uplift one another and... You know, we, we just do the best things we know in a humble way. So, yesterday I thought my kids were coming back from their weekend away last night. So I was up until after 11 um, looking for them. So, about 11.30, I called my son. And my son is cozy in bed. Um... Grayson is sleeping, he got his shower and he's sleeping. Jay is still up. Um, so Sherry is putting her to bed. And we're just here in the hotel room. Oh, no, the hotel room, I thought you work. <laughs> so then he said, Mommy, I thought that school was, was out. I thought you were on vacation. So I said, No, son, I'm not on vacation. I've worked tomorrow. And so the dog is here. We have never had dogs in the house. And my son used to want a dog and I would not allow it because I didn't want him to bring a dog in and then it becomes our my responsibility to take care of it. And so we never allowed him to buy a dog. So then he got his place, he has his children and they buy a beautiful dog. And I was loving the dog from a distance, right? But then they had to, they have the birthday thing and I, I said, bring him. So he's in the basement, right? Um, so the, front, the the reason I'm saying that, guys, you're going to see the, the why I, I say this. And I'm saying it because, you know what, patience is a good thing. Patience goes hand in hand with kindness. So I decided that I would, um, I would keep the dog. They brought the dog in. And he told me he walked the dog, but... He, when, after he left, I was down there with the dog and the dog just went, he has a mat, but he didn't go on the mat, he just pooped right there on the floor. And, and I wasn't even frustrated, I just went, I got um, some paper towels, I got a bag, I scoop it up, I put it in and then I sprayed the spot and, 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 and wiped it. It wasn't, it wasn't messy poop, it was nice and firm, so it wasn't hard to clean. And so yesterday I took him out twice and had him running around, running around for a good time. And he didn't go out there. And in my head, I'm saying, okay, maybe he just goes once for the day. <laughs> I took him out in the evening and he ran around. We out there for a good long time and nothing. And I went downstairs and I'm looking. I, look, I had locked the bathroom area. But I let him out, go in my office space, in the workspace and the other section. I'm looking in the closets. I don't see anything. I'm looking. I says, this dog is a good dog. He doesn't go in the house. He doesn't go in, you know. Um, I'm looking where I put a, my, my exercise mats in the workspace. And I think that's where he slept. Or maybe he slept up here in the steps. I don't know. Because he once you come up and lock, shut the door, he likes to whine. He sits down the stairs and he whines. And then I said to my son last night, I said, well, you know, I'm at work today and I don't know. Um, but I said, when you come, because I didn't see where the dog poop around over the night and stuff. So I said, when you come, just look again for me. So make sure we don't miss something. And he says, that's fine, mom. I'll look around when I get there because they're driving up today. And this one I was saying to Daddy last night, um, if you could put the dog up. But again, Daddy is not a dog person indoors, so I, he didn't, he was, uh, so I said, you know what, let me leave that one alone, and I went back to my room, and I said, 
I went to sleep and I said, you know, I'll get up early and come out. So I got up at six and I went, I went down and I looked around and I saw nothing. But I forgot some spots to look. So I took him out and we out there for a while out there. I came back in, looked around. Then when I went in the furnace area, because there's another big space, when I went in, right up in the corner near to the window up there, there was a nice little gift for me. And I went and I cleaned it up. Then when I went to the washroom, there were two nice piles in there also. But as I said, the poop is not loose. He's a healthy dog, so the poop is nice and, and nicely formed and easy clean up. And I wasn't even upset. And this is the message this morning, guys, of patience. It's such a beautiful thing. I, I remembered when the young lady fell sick in here, the vomiting and the vomiting. And usually I'm afraid of vomit. I'm so afraid of it. And because the food is not processed, it's coming out just the way it goes in. And it has this, you know, different, it just makes your stomach lurch. And, and I wasn't, I was right there with her, just right there, didn't even shake me. And this morning I went down and three piles I had to clean up. And I just was so patient. And I said, I was just thanking God, I said, Sometimes people wake up and we're so angry and we're so ups we're so frustrated about little things. And this morning, three pounds of poop, and it didn't face me. I I just love him still, just love him. I just love him. And 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 clean it up with the problem. Didn't change who I am. Didn't it, well I wish it to take a couple of pounds off, but it didn't. But it, it doesn't change. And so guys, as I'm saying it's interesting that as I walked out, I sent the message out for today. I shared on WhatsApp, and my daughter shared back, love is patient. And it connected, and I said, let me talk to you guys, because love is truly patient, and love is kind. So make it a great day by choice, guys. Just make it a great day. If you have much, enjoy it. Be thankful. If you have a little bit, enjoy it. Be thankful when you are thankful then things become tolerable, things become, it's like a little bit becomes much. So give God the glory. Don't forget to put your hands in the hands of that man who stills the waters and calm the seas because he knows and remember, he doesn't leave us nor forsake us. Again, remember to watch that video with Gabby. Please support her if you can, guys. Please buy a book or two or three. Buy one for all of your children or your grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, your cousins. Buy a book. I think they were $10. I don't know if they went up, but support her um, because I'm sure that, you know, if you, when you're getting better from, from certain situations, you do need the support. So support her, support her, and make it a great day. If you can't be good, be careful, but walk good, do good, live good. And I'll talk to you another time after you like the video, share the video, and leave your comment. And please encourage others to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.